Welcome to the perfect tower in two. Links for the stream will be in the in the description below. And uh, it's a free game, so um, there's that. So let's just get right into this game, shall we? And start. Hello and welcome. We are currently running some tests on our tower. Quickly take a seat and unpause the game using the button in the top right corner. I wonder why that's not the space bar. Right, it is a space bar. I don't know why that's not explained, but clearly in the tutorial. Here you can see all the modules uh, which are currently installed in your tower. You can upgrade them by using SP. Hmm. This is your tower's health bar. Make sure it does not reach zero. You just you just described every game like this have it. Well, ever. So um hmm. Let's uh grab some more attack speed. And some basic attack and some basic regeneration. Right, so let's just hide that. Okay, so now it's going. And luckily, we can just tank through all the damage uh, that the enemies are sending us. So that's lovely. Hmm. Right, so we can still tank. Or uh, maybe not. Let's uh, get some more regen. Going. And now we can regen 30% of our health. Seems wild to me. So let's get some more health. Now we're up to uh, 47. So that's lovely. And so far we can just tame through the damage, so that's also good. Hmm. Right, we can still tank. Sort of. Don't know what took off half our health, so... Now the issue is attack. Hmm. Get some more health, and... Uh, let's see, now is this the uh, part of the game that you're not supposed to finish? Hmm. 1.7 attack, so, um, yeah. Well, that didn't enjoy its plan, but we're just starting. Let's head over to the island and talk over there. So, let's just do that. I've been awaiting you for quite some time. My name is Dr. Cubicle, but enough with the chit chat. Let's get, uh... Hello, game? Oh, dear. Hmm... Well... That didn't end, uh, very well. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna start the tutorial and come back after I restart the game, cause I think that was just a trash. Oh dear. Oh, I'll go back to 810 and there goes the boss. And we're past 810, on to 811. And we're in 12. Oh dear. Yeah, welcome to the gameplay loop of this game. Hmm. Oh dear. Yep, I did not make it past. So, um, yeah, I'm back to town. So, let's see how much uh, chaos we can do. Hmm, construction firm, um, hmm, 41, and I'm still short, so let's just spend those, uh, white bots on the, uh, blue bots instead and get 48 of those, so we can finally start leveling up the attack speed now, and we can only do that once, so let's work on the basic, basic regeneration, like so, and toss some uh, points into the stone foundation, like so. And let's just head right back into the uh, region one forest launch. Hmm. All right, so we now start with 47 hit points and 4.4 uh, health per second regenerated. So that's pretty good. Hmm. Let's see, now, let's actually get the, uh, regeneration up to, like, 10 hit points per second, and that takes care of that, and, hmm, 
You know what? Here's a nice, uh, little challenge for you, uh, at home. Take a drink of water every time I say and. That's a drinking game we're going with. Yes, I know I said water. Oh, hey, here's a boss. And there goes a the boss. Avoid oh, 10. Oh, dear. Welcome to wave 18. I don't think I'm long for this world. And I called it. Hmm. Let's see, now. I'm probably just gonna head straight back in, because I know that's uh, not enough to uh, get the other painting that I wanted. Up the construction firm, which is the headquarters. And this would require 41 brown. Or rather, 41 more brown blots, and I don't have enough uh, white blots uh, to convert. So, back into the simulation. I go. I'll be right back. Hopefully with those blocks. Right, so I think I have enough for the, uh, thing if I had just, uh, hit the restart. Oh, well. This time I'm gonna make sure I do have any resources for that. Well, I made it to 820 this time. So, it's, uh, back to the town. And I've unlocked elemental resistance, so that's good. Construction firm, headquarters, and... Let's see, now that's 41 that we needed. Convert. And build. And now we wait. Ooh, skills. Fast construction increases the construction speed of all buildings by 20% for each tier of the construction firm. Yoink. Hmm. Advanced offline construction allows uh, the construction firm to construct buildings at 200% of the original speed while the game is closed. Without this skill, the construction firm continues at 100% while the game is closed. Yoink! Hmm, workshop. Hmm, increases the total damage resistance of the tower against any incoming damage of type by 1% for each defensive module inside your blueprint. Add it to, add it to itself. Now it says there was a chance to randomly unlock new modules. Synergy increases the total damage output of the tower by 1% for each defensive module inside your blueprint. Hmm. Reduces the conversion rate of workshop points by 1 per each tier of the workshop. And engineering increases the blueprint size per workshop tier from 3 to 4. I'll take that one. Thank you very much. Hmm... Right, I don't have any skill points. So... Let's see now. Hmm... I guess it's back to the simulation. Oh, or right after I, uh, go through the, uh, introduction to the headquarters. So, um, yeah. Welcome to the headquarters. This building is responsible for your primary production throughout the game. This section shows your mil current military tier. Reaching the next tier requires you to meet a set of goals. Unlocking the next tier grants you access to new building tiers and features inside your town. Tearing up comes with a prize, so I made sure to prepare for that. Yes, I was me checking to see if I was recording properly, which I am. Contracts provide you a resource drop bonus during tower testing it if you use a blueprint that fulfills all their conditions. Their bonuses are multiplicative uh, to themselves, so two fulfilled contracts will not result in multiplier plus multiplier, but rather in multiplier times multiplier. Hmm, how about fun? To show that their conditions simply unfold them by clicking on their name. And this is where the... And this is the area where you can purchase and upgrade servers. They have two major functionalities, unlocking and speeding up software installation, as well as upgrading your facility AI. MT4 Plus. Your total CPU affects uh, software installation speed. While your while RAM allows your facility AI MT4 Plus to run more complex strips. So upgrade your servers. Uh, select one for the list and then click on the part uh, on the main board that you want to upgrade. Software speeds up your wave production speed during tower testing, so install them as soon as possible whenever you unlock new ones. Once you have them installed, you can toggle them on and off whenever you like, even during tower testing by going to the options menu or right-clicking the wave icon. 
This facility AI is a tool that allows you to automate various complex tasks that cannot be automated by using workers. NT1+. I looked over it in detail here in the headquarters introduction since it's a section that requires an introduction on its own. And that should be all. Hmm. Let's see now. Fast cannon. And I think I'm gonna do this one. Violence. Hello? Hmm, so that's uh, one module for the defensive uh, tower, so that should be on the workshop. Get rid of the stone foundation. And see if that fulfills the requirements, and it does. So, with that in mind, um, hmm. Let's convert the rest of these uh, blueprints. And get the regeneration uh, leveled up by quite a bit. Or maybe that should be the, the attack speed once. Yep, we're doing... We're doing the attack speed instead, because, uh, yeah, that was uh, most of our, uh, funds. And let's also toss another level onto, uh, basic attack. And onwards to power testing. Launch. And I'll be right back uh, as soon as I, uh, get farther, far into the waves. Hmm. Well, didn't get very far. Hmm. Somehow, um, uh, hmm. Right, so that wasn't a good idea. I guess, uh, back to the, uh, stone foundation and the elemental resistance. And straight back into tower testing. That was probably a late game. Well, a mid-game thing that I was doing in an early game. Not a good idea. Believe it or not. Well, I made it to wave 18 this time. Let's see now. What sort of chaos turn we did up to in the, uh, workshop? Hmm. I think I just need, uh, some more basic attack. And now we're up to 32 base uh, damage, so that's pretty good. Let's try this one again. Alright, so... Yep, we're starting out with 32 damage per attack, so that's pretty good, even though I said that twice now. It's basically repeating, though. Well, we're approaching uh, wave 20, and I don't think I've uh, taken that much damage. Oh, hey, here's the boss. And there goes the boss. And they're almost like me. Maybe it's because they're dealing way more damage than before. And I desperately need the regen. Yep, that's the regen issue. So it's literally a skill issue for me. Hmm. So let's just start wrapping up, um, ramping up the damage, uh, quick. So we can just take out, uh, the enemies before they take me out. And let's just also dump, uh, some more, uh, points into the Elemental Resistance thingy. There goes my tower! That's why I wanted the Elemental Resistance. So, let's see, now, or chop, um... Now we're getting 63. At least that's what you have now. So let's just start working on the basic bouncing. And that is all the way up to, uh, level 11. And let's also start dumping points into elemental resistance. Like so. Hmm. Can we spend any on the stone foundation? Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, welcome to the joys of having a cheap mouse. And I'm pretty sure it has a dead left mouse button right now. Or approaching dead. Oh well, let's just get cracking on to the tower testing and see if we can, uh beat the forest there this time. Like so. Well, welcome to wave, uh, 10 this run, and here comes the boss, and there goes the boss. That was quick. So let's just dump all the points we can get into damage, and get that rapidly leveled up. 
Hmm. I should also probably start investing in attack speed some more. Or maybe just start our own regeneration since, uh, they're getting worryingly close to uh, that point where they can just uh, kill the uh, tower pretty quickly. And here goes away Tony Boss, and there goes away Tony Boss. So let's just start working on the basic bouncing so that can go up by quite a bit. And take out all these enemies uh, pretty quickly. So let's just start ramping up the damage again, because that's what I need. So I can keep one shotting these enemies. And so far, that's what we seem to be doing pretty well. And that's a good thing for us. Anyways. Oh boy, here comes the 31 damage, uh, enemies. Hmm. Don't know how he survived. And let's just start, uh, drastically increasing the regeneration. And see if that'll, uh, help keep up, keep up with the enemies. Which, so far, that seems to be the case. But I think I can also be served pretty well by dying. Okay. Do town. Hmm. Let's see now. Military, uh, no. Contracts, nah. Technology, hmm. Hmm, right, I can't really, really do anything with this uh, right now because uh, we're not making enough uh, white blocks to even bother with that. So back to the workshop. And time for some more uh, blue blocks. And go play around with that. Hmm. Let's actually get the basic regeneration up by quite a bit. Like so, so now you start out with uh, 9.6 uh, regen, so that's pretty good. And let's uh, toss another point in these, into the stone foundation. And now I'm broke. Back to the simulation I go. Lovely. Welcome to 821, and we're right back to the uh, fire uh, enemy, so that's pretty good. Let's actually start ramping up the basic attack and the hit points uh, regenerating per second, because, um, yeah, that's gonna be, uh, necessary. So far, I'm keeping them ahead of them. Barely. Like so. And let's also get the ba basic bouncing chance, uh, up. Hmm. Let's see now. What else can I do to ensure my longevity in this run? Oh, yeah. Attack speed. That also has to go up. Hmm, hopefully they don't manage to overwhelm me. Knowing my life, that's probably what they're gonna do. It's just overwhelm me. And that's not fun. Hmm. Let's actually get some more hit points in. Welcome to 31, and I don't think I've ever made it this far before. And now we're on to the Earth, uh, foe, so that's lovely. Hmm. I also desperately need the regeneration. And that's why. Three new modules unlocked. Multi-shot, nature attack, and nature resistance. I feel like strewing around with a... Uh, Multi-shot. Cause that is just a straight up uh, upgrade over uh, basic attack, so... Uh, get out of here. Basic attack, and let's sink all the blue points into a uh, multi-shot. Like so, now it's level 12. Hmm. Oh, that's supposed to be used in addition to basic basic attack. I just realized that. Whoopsies. Hmm. Let's see now. I guess back to the simulation I go. And we're gonna see how far I can get. Well, multi shot is uh rather uh powerful since I can just hit two enemies at once, uh and that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can see it go off. And, yep. Uh, that was a multi-shot. For a little bit. So, um, I guess I'll see you back at 831 if I make it that far. Welcome to 820, and there goes the boss. Well, I guess, uh, I pretty much forgot about the regeneration, uh, thanks to the multi-shot. So, um, hmm. Let's have all the blue points into, uh, re regeneration this time around. And, uh... There goes all of our money. And now we start out with 14.3 uh, head points per second. So let's see how this uh, plays out in the simulation. And um, yeah. Yep, we definitely start out with 14.3 head points per second. And that's pretty good. 
You know what? I feel like taking the thumbnail screenshot, so, um, yeah. Let's see now. Yep, that's gonna be the, the thumbnail. Or maybe this one will be. Yeah, that one's gonna be the thumbnail. Hmm. Let's also start ramping up the attack speed, uh, so we can start firing off rapid fire. And all that jazz. And so we can clear out these uh, ways faster and faster, and that's the idea behind the attack speed stat. Well, I guess I forgot to uh, start leveling up my basic attack, and well, almost uh, had a run ending event there, so um, that's not good. Yeah, don't forget about your basic attack. Because of that. Back to town. And let's see now. Hmm... I guess we're gonna be, uh, dumping them all into, uh, regeneration this time around. Or maybe that should be the basic attack. Yeah, and that's gonna be the basic attack that we dump it into. So, um, that's pretty good. Hmm... What can I also upgrade? Oh, hey, the Stone Foundation. That's getting another point. So yeah, I think this is where I'm going to leave off my adventures with the Perfect Tower 2. It's a free game and you can go ahead and play around with it yourself in the eh, through the link in the description below. And if the uh, link has been uh, misplaced somehow, because I'm uh, known to do that from time to time, feel free to let me in the comments below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one on Wednesday, because uh, today is Sunday when I post this, and I'm just gonna have a weekend on Monday and Tuesday, so um, yeah. There's that. Bye.